Uh, hello, I'm Al Chasen, the actual co-chair of ArtScope, presiding over a virtual opening reception. That's a mouthful. During our regular opening receptions, you often see me standing in the back of the doors. I'm not looking to sneak out. What I'm doing is counting the house. I'm always worried about having a small crowd and then discovering, to my delight, that we need to drag in more chairs from the pack annex. In the early days of opening receptions, five minutes before we were to start, there'd be a lot of empty chairs. More recently, 15 minutes before starting, almost all, chair, all chairs are filled. Come on in, there's a seat over there. It's hard to believe that the last opening reception was February 17th. Beverly Builders and Carol and Tolley show was up from then until last week. Their work made for a very nice backdrop to the activities on channel 1340. The show you'll see today was supposed to be up six months ago, and there are about five more to follow. We had the whole year planned. Perhaps soon, if we're lucky, Willenton will get back to a sense of normalcy, and we'll have to drag in more chairs. Until then, the next best thing is a virtual opening reception, like we're having now. Notice how virtual has become part of our vocabulary. Virtual, FaceTime, Zoom, webcam, Instacart, self-quarantine, what a world. By the way, I don't want to forget, to make this event come off at all, we can thank Jason Irish, who's behind the camera and also did the editing. He has a hard time saying no to any request. Thanks, Jason. And also the fellows who hung the show, Tom Vitoli, Larry Randall, and Bill Barbash, and Karen Vitoli, who happily critiqued their efforts. A downside to a virtual opening reception is you'll have to provide your own wine cookies, cheese, crackers. I knew in advance there wouldn't be any, so I came prepared. The upside, you won't have to listen to me read the evacuation notice. Honestly, I can't wait to read it before a live audience. The title of this exhibit, Still, Period, Going, Period, Strong, Period, Periods for Emphasis, teaches three old geezers. Are they young geezers? Still cranking out artwork. Reaching the age of 90 in Woodland Park is not remarkable. We've had plenty of residents who reached that milestone and more. Getting to that point and still creating and producing art is not easy. At times it requires some physical effort and perseverance. To have a mind that still generates ideas, then transferring them to paper or canvas and exhibiting them for others to enjoy is an accomplishment and something to celebrate. The three artists whose work we'll look at Today, Norman Sosowski, Rob Green, and me, Al Chasen, are regular exhibitors at ArtScope events. Each of us has a different style and works in a different medium. Rob is a watercolorist, Norm works in oils, and I'm a fan of acrylics. These paintings have all been produced in the last year or year and a half. That's a pretty impressive output in a fairly short time. This event doesn't come free. So now we'll have a word from our sponsor. Still going strong, indeed. When I think about the contributions that Norman and Rob and Al have made to the art world and to Woodland Pond, to society over all these years, I'm just so inspired. I feel like I have so much to catch up on and, and so do so many in my generation. I was thrilled when Al suggested that we start with ArtScope again, and the theme of our return is just absolutely remarkable. It's such testament to these artists, but also such a sign of the times as we all continue to try and still go strong with all of the challenges that we're facing in 2020, um, the way that our community has come together. Um, it's just so inspiring. I want to thank Artscope for the vision, 
I'm thrilled that we have things going again. I'd like to congratulate our three artists for a wonderful art career. And I hope to see more of your work and lots of more art scope to come. Jason, what a surprise. I thought it would be someone from Shop Writer at Tops. Thank you, Michelle. Usually at live opening receptions, we have artists tell us about their lives as artists and also describe the individual paintings or photographs. And they take illuminating questions from the audience. Peter Green has re agreed to represent the audience and she'll ask the artists personal questions. Starting Wednesday, September 16th, you will be able to see this exhibit in person. You'll have to choose a day and time and you sign up at the concierge desk. There'll be more information on Connect the Living, newsletter, and Sean the Clear. Perhaps you've already snuck into the pack and got a page. Now let's see the artwork and hear from the painters and from Trina. We'll start with Rob. When it comes to asking Rob questions, Trina swears there's no conflict of interest. We hope you've enjoyed this virtual opening reception. And until we meet again, and thank you for visiting us. Jason, you like Chardonnay? Welcome to the um, new show after the COVID virus. Um, this, I'm Rob Green, and this is a picture of um, on Egan Island that was done from a sketch, actually, when I was there. The next picture is a scene from Ulster County. Trina and I took trips on our um, car and took photographs when all the leaves were just coming out with lots of color. <clears throat> this is a picture of the waterfall up at Mong, and this one is from Maine, from Sunlands that were very beautiful. And this picture is spring in Ulster County. Uh, tried a new technique of putting all the color in first and then painting in the uh, trees. The next two pictures are from Acadia National Park, different views. They have beautiful red cliffs that drop into the ocean and they were done at different times. This is a dark stormy day and that's a, a lovely day. This picture was taken by Trina in the desert of Mojave Desert in California. And uh, she had a wonderful trip there and uh, wrote back photographs. And I took them, one as a subject for a picture, uh, with the flowers growing up from below and the cactus in bloom. Hello, everybody. I'm Trina Green, and I've been designated to ask questions of each artist. So I am de facto audience. Um, so the first question is for Rob. How do you set up a painting and what is your process? I usually use a pencil to draw the horizon line and then do the major shapes in pencil. The rest of it is painted. And I begin at the top webbing the whole paper and doing the sky, while that's drying, I move to the bottom and do something down here, and then work on the middle part of the picture. And uh, Rob, how do you choose your subjects? I try to choose something that's dramatic. I think a good picture should be something that you enjoy looking at over and over again. So you don't want it to be dull, you want it to be colorful, you want the shapes to uh, fall together in a pleasing picture. And uh, so I try to get very sort of stunning pieces to choose from for a okay. painting. And what would you consider most important in painting? 
I think two things, the, the general shapes that make the picture and the color. Um, other people emphasize different things, but to me the color is one of the most important. But there has to be dragon's bones or pleasing shapes in the picture, or you know you get tired of looking at it if they're not. Which of those pictures would you consider uh, particularly emphasizing color? Which, which of those paintings do you emphasize, uh, uh, treats color particularly successfully? I think this one, and this one, that one, and the lower, the lower one of them. Okay, yeah. And Rob, what is the basic message you're trying to convey? That may be pretty much like the other. Well, for me, it's the beauty of nature, which is very renewing and healing. And I want to bring people out of doors, and especially in the wintertime and when we're in COVID virus and we're closed in, I think it's wonderful to look at a picture that takes you to a beautiful place. And lastly, why did you choose watercolors as your medium? I was inspired by a high school teacher who taught me at the very beginning in Grand Island Island up in Canada and uh, picked it up later at age 45. I never considered another medium. So I just grew with watercolor. Thanks so much, Rob. That was really interesting.